What's up guys, what's going on? It's our second video. Today we are back in 7 Days to Die. And last we left off, there was a pretty large amount of pretty angry zombies over here. Actually not too large, but what we, what we are going to do is go ahead and take care of them. Then we're going to start heading east and kind of checking out the snow biome. See if there's a nice place to settle over by there. And we'll see what could be done. So what's... Oh, that was bad. Almost bad. I can't hit this guy for it. I can't hit this guy for the life of me. What is going on? Okay, there we go. Like this, like, gee, like, oh my God, this is this is different. You're like, you're actually, your crosshair has to be actually on their face in order to hit them. I don't like this. Okay, I don't like this change. This is bad. But like I was saying, we are gonna go ahead and get stuff done. And give me a sec. Okay, just had to check some on my phone because I had to make sure that my stopwatch is gone, so I know how long the episode's been running for. We're gonna go ahead and check out what is in this place. Uh, probably try and get a little bit of scrap from it, because uh, I think, don't quote me on this, but there are, uh, there, I know for sure that there's oil barrels, and I think that there might be a couple of good things, like maybe a wall safe or something or the like. So we're gonna go ahead and see if any of that is present here. Definitely pick up the oil barrels, that's gonna be big for if we ever find an auger or something of the sort. A medicine cabinet with nothing too major, but we'll grab it anyways. Got some pipes in there. Uh, some chili, that'll be good. More pipes. Honestly, I mean, pipes for days. I hear some zombies outside. Okay. Well, we might need to be ready to defend, because shit could quite literally hit the fan, like, any moment now, because they are kind of bunching up outside. At least by the looks of it, that's what's happening. And, uh, that could, that could be bad. That garage storage, damn it, it was so promising. It was called garage storage, and just nothing of the, nothing good. And there we got some dog food. Uh, okay, well they're about to run in. I'm gonna run out and whip his face off first because I don't want him to get inside and oh damn That's why I have a batting average of a thousand kid sit down get wrecked uh, let's See and oh he lived. Oh damn. I hate like you have to be so much more accurate now Like I don't know what it is at least it feels like that it might be because I switched to the desktop But it feels like you actually have to be a lot more accurate when you aim for the face uh Plague Nurse, another, some glass bottles, probably going to be sure to cook those up. Also, we're going to want to find some coal ore at some point, so we have plenty of fuel for our fire. Uh, or her, oh my god, look at her teeth. She, she never visited the dentist. She's missing lips. She was, like, too busy sucking dudes off. Like, oh my god, she got some, oh god, Jesus, that is, that is bad. She, she, her lips are non-existent. That is, that is, that is intimidating as hell. Jesus Christ, uh... Got more of these guys just spawning, just kind of crouched down to his level, so we're a bit easier to hit him with. Uh, you can't really loot him, because it's like his pelvis apparently has all his loot, and that is merged into the ground. Really, seven days the guy dies. Or seven days to... D no, seven days to die, guys. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. Seven days to die, guys. That is that is actually a tongue twister. I just... I Wow, seven days to die, guys. It's kind of catchy too, but seven days to die, guys. You guys have to get, you guys gotta get that shit fixed. Like that guy, that guy, that guy is super derpy. We got some moldy bread. I'm gonna be sure to pick that up because that's gonna be useful. I'll just drop the bull casings. Uh, that's gonna be good because I do know that uh, someone actually commented in one of the prior videos that you have to use that. Or I actually knew you had to use that, but someone actually, I actually know how to make the potassium nitrate. Or no, I know how to make the actual antibiotics now. Of course, there's a, of course, there's a death safe hidden behind there. But pretty much, I need to find some potassium nitrate, which can be found in the rocks on the overworld. And I should be able to cook up some pretty good stuff from that. Uh, just got some more books. Again, nothing major. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to drop the paper. Don't need the tin cans either. It's no big deal. Just grab the sniper and maybe craft it down in a bit. Who knows? We're getting pretty hungry, though. So probably want to go ahead and eat. I think we, for the most part, looted everything that has stuff in here. Yeah. It looks like that is the case, so we're just going to go ahead and start, like, nomming on some stuff. There we go, got some soup in us, and uh, might as well eat some ham. Kind of get our food up a lot as well. There we go. Got some good levels there. Go ahead and search a couple of cars up front, and then we are going to go ahead and start heading to the, not the north, like the northeast, I think, right? Yeah, around there. We actually follow the path up north. And we'll kind of like transition into there and begin the ever-challenging adventure 
of surviving in the winter biome because that place just the enemies my god it's ridiculous how strong they are like if I get attacked during the night it's it's game over it is game over okay you know we're we're done looting we're done I think we got plenty of stuff we'll loot that car though because it's a car I mean might as well uh, definitely want to be on the lookout for a couple coal deposits or yeah coal ore deposits definitely gonna want to check those out or mine those up uh we got oh my god it's okay he didn't fully render in so he looked super derpy from this angle go ahead get our spiked club and bash his head in a little bit uh one more hit oh one more there we go now he's dead Let's see what he had on him more ham man more ham i'm just going ham all over the place uh like i said keep a look out for that coal ore cause that's gonna be that's kind of kind of what we are looking for at this point uh Ooh, goldenrod actually. I might want to go ahead and pick those up. First things first, let's just eat this soup. Definitely eat that soup up. Might as well actually pick up some rocks while I'm at it. We're going to need that for our forge. Uh, probably some sticks as well. Yeah, you know, we just got plenty. Okay, can I... Is this rock not... Is this just like... Is this rock a part of the ground? I think so. Whatever. Screw you, rock. There's better rocks that are more willing not to be assholes. You jerk. Uh, hollow tree stump. Just a... There's a flashlight because you know people just hide flashlights and tree stumps. That's totally normal. Uh, let's break of this. Wait, don't I have like an axe? No, I, I actually don't. Okay. Uh, go ahead, get our pickaxe. There we go. Get some sticks out of that. Uh, any more bushes nearby? Well, we have a backpack. I mean, usually backpacks in the middle of the woods have some good stuff, and we had some water that we are full on. Damn it. Uh, I guess we'll just drop the empty glass bottles for now. Or no, we'll maybe keep those. Maybe goodbye, simple band-aids, I guess. Goodbye, moldy bread. I don't really need you right now, moldy bread. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, probably want to go ahead and find a couple more sticks. Yeah, there we go. We got some bushes. Pick up a bunch of rocks while we're at it. We're going to need these for our forge. Break a couple of these things. Try to get as many sticks as possible. Uh, gonna want to pick up some of those goldenrod flowers that we did see a little bit back. So that was like a nice little patch of goldenrod. Uh, we're up to nine sticks, so might as well start picking these up if the game allows us. And yeah, there we go, it's in our inventory. I uh, don't need the flashlight because we do have a mining weight. I, I just dropped it in the complete wrong way. Uh, how many how many rocks we got? We're up to seven rocks. Okay, probably gonna want. I think we need. I think I only need eight for a forge, but I do want to get extras just in case because I need to cook. I, not, I need. I almost said I need to cook a campfire. I need to make a campfire and all that good stuff. So definitely going to want to go ahead and pick up a few extras. Going to pick up this goldenrod plant because it makes for some extremely OP uh, liquid. I was, no, drink. Extremely OP drink. I don't know why I said liquid. I feel like, I mean, that's technically correct if I say liquid, but at the same time, I don't know, liquid just feels really awkward and and like some sort of sexual innuendo i don't know i mean it's whatever i mean if i said fluid that'd be a sexual innuendo but again it's actually is fluid right i mean probably shit i don't know i'm not a i'm not a health expert here uh how many rocks do we need for a campfire i just want to know okay so we need eight for a campfire and for a forge we need eight as well so we definitely got to go ham with our rock game here gonna pick up a couple more I'll probably break a couple bushes and just pick up any golden rod we find along the way. That's only one stick. That's disappointing. Uh, yeah, not much golden rod. So I'm pretty sure once we head up into the winter biome, golden rod's gonna be like pretty much non-existent. So it's not gonna be good for our purposes. We got a little bit of a horde going on there. So that oh yeah, they have detected me. That's bad. At least there's no dogs, and at least they're all slow pieces of shit. We got a glass pane. I'm not. I'm not gonna grab that. I don't need a glass pane. Uh, we got good old Mansa Musa with nothing. Uh, got some soup. Yes, I love soup. Uh, let's get some water. Start filling that up. This guy, like, look at this. I'm just going to try to demonstrate how strong these guys are so you understand what type of a challenge I'm going to be going through with the everyday zombies that spawn. Four hits with a spiked club that's usually one to two hits on a normal zombie. And these frozen zombies are like the main type of zombie that spawn. That is intimidating as hell. Luckily they are pretty slow, but again, still, it's gonna suck. Especially because that's the main zombie that spawns, so there's gonna be uh, pretty decent chunks of them. 
Like, oh god, here we have a freaking Russian hunter with his nips sticking out. Look at that shit. He's got suspenders that are like protecting his nipples from the winter. And he also has a pretty dope hat. I wish he'd drop it, but that's not the case. I got a stick from it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take all these guys out. So we don't feel rushed during this. That spider zombie took some extra hits for some reason. I got some water on him though, that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead, whack her face in. Whack her in again. Nope, missed. There we go, hit her that time. Uh, nothing on her. Now we have this asshole. Freaking big bad wolf over here. Big bad demonic lumberjack. Uh, tin can on him. Again, yeah, nothing, nothing super important. So, glass jar. Eh, I guess we could drop. Not drop, I guess we could eat some salmon. It's probably a good idea. Might as well use it while we have it. Fill up our hunger pretty much all the way. And throw our water back down there. Cooking pot, we're gonna want oil. We have some extra oil. Screw the extra oil. Uh, hmm. Yeah, other than that, looks like we pretty much don't have much much to store. We do need some more rocks. Oh my god, there's like a field of rocks over here. I'm gonna pick all that shit up. Let's go. Let's go. And oh my god, it feels so much more serene and calm over in the in the snow biome. Like it's a lot more quiet and just just relaxed and we have rocks for days. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Oh my god. Hey, that's a backpack. Ah, that was a rock. It had some water. That's a double whammy. So we have plenty of water. Food situation's not looking super bright, but again, no big deal. Uh, if I could pick up that golden rod, thank you. Uh, there's a bunch over there, but I, whatever. I mean, we're not. We're gonna try to build. I think somewhat close to the, uh, to the like forest biome or plain biome, whatever. And definitely want to build kind of close to that. We're not gonna build over there again because that ended up disastrous. I mean, it was it was going so well until, until disaster struck. It was pretty disastrous when disaster struck. Honestly, I'm still getting over my losses. It was going so well, and then just... Oh, God, I... Man, bad memories. Bad, bad memories. Oh, God. Whatever. Well, we got some birds. Let's go ahead and pick those up. We're going to need these feathers for our crossbow bolts. And also, we do have to craft a crossbow. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to eat that egg, because eggs are dumb. I mean, people... Some people say that they're, like, pretty good food items. I understand that, because you can find them in nests and stuff, but... I don't know, I, I don't think it's worth the risk, like, carrying them, because they stank, and the zombies are attracted to stank, and I don't want my stank kind of stanking the place up. Oh god, okay, okay, we got some zombie dogs. Let's take care of this. Take care of this the only way I know how. Bullets. Oh shit. They just, they all froze. That's bad. Oh, well, there we go, he's dead. They, like, can't tell what's going on. They're clueless. Okay, shit, they can tell. They can, at least, that guy knows something's up. Uh, dome him. Dome him. Zombie dogs still have not fully realized what's going on. They're using, like, the grass as cover, which is kind of screwing with me. There we go. Never mind. That one's gone, and then we have one out in the forest. I'm gonna just, oh, right between the logs. Boom. You're done, sonny. You're done. Uh, hopefully that is everything. I'm gonna pull out the... SMG though, that's gonna help me. It's gonna be the best in a spray and pray situation here. If that does arise. Nothing on the crawler. Anything good in the sedan? Maybe like an auger? No, we got a single sniper bolt. I'm not taking that hunting rifle. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a reason to. We got a bunch of monster mooses over here. Uh, looks like there was like some kind of North African car crash or something. So that's pretty unfortunate. That really is. I feel sorry for my brother monster Musa, but I mean... You know, necessary losses. I mean, whatever has to be done to ensure that... I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm literally just, like, stringing together words that half makes... That, like, makes sense grammatically. That that sounds... Like, all those senses I just said made, like, zero sense. But, whatever. That's what I'm good at. Making zero sense. I'm just gonna go ahead and stack those. So, I, oh, shit. That's an airdrop. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, we're gonna be heading for that. We're gonna be heading for that. Oh, it's a drop in a... Cu oh, well, it uh, looks like we have a bit of a detour... And, uh, oh man, we're gonna start heading for that shit, but I think I'm gonna actually end the episode there, because that's kind of exciting, and I don't really, can't make the longest of episodes, so, uh, oh my god, sorry if there's no question today, guys, but, so we're gonna go ahead and start heading for those, actually, no, I'm gonna make sure that we do head over to them, because I feel like, do they show up on the map? No, they don't, so, definitely wanna find out what they are, okay, we're gonna, I'll figure out the question while I'm running for them. Because this could be good. This could be good. This could have... Oh, shit. My inventory is going to be full. 
Son of a bitch, this is gonna suck. Whatever. It's it's an airdrop. You're gonna get it's probably gonna like drop. No. It's dropping outside the rad zone, isn't it? Sack of shit. I think it dropped. This thing better like come on. Come on. No, it dropped. Uh, are you are you kidding me? You're joking. Shit. Okay, how, how much do I start dying if I walk out here? Like, how bad is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no way I'm getting to that. Well, uh, that's the ultimate cock tease right there. Freaking piece of shit. Why would they do that to me? God damn it. That is, that is a dick move. Screw you, airplane. You dropped it off in the wrong place. Well, now we're as north as it gets, so whenever we do get back, we're going to have a nice walk ahead of us. And uh, today's question, I I don't, I don't really have one off the top of my head that I can really ask you guys, I guess. I mean, because last time I asked about your favorite vacation spot and stuff, so I guess uh, I guess I'll just ask a pretty general broad one. Like, where are you guys from? Like, where where do you where were you born? Where do you live now? I guess I just kind of I, I want to get a general sense for like what my audience is, kind of where you guys are, like European, North African, like Mansa Musa from like, I don't know, Martian, I mean there's plenty of options, but uh, just tell me where you guys are from, I'm kind of curious to know what, you know, my main 7 days to die crowd is, and I could just go to YouTube Analytics, but that's not as fun, I like asking you guys, I like being personal, so feel free to respond, you can be as, sar as sarcastic as you want in the response, because I'm not going to know if you're telling the truth or lying, and if you say that you're like from Pluto or some shit, honestly I'm gullible enough to believe that, so that is going to do it for me, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, if you did, be sure to leave a like, and this is me, Star Sign. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.